All right, guys, welcome back to another Apple review. We are doing Jazz Apple, and uh, Jazz Apple is a pretty interesting Apple. It's got, uh, you know, uh, good transitioning colors. It's got the white burst freckles in it. Um, hopefully that comes through. I'm not going to get up and adjust the focus. Um, but it's a, it's a red transition to yellow, good skin texture. I uh, this is a this is a refilm, so I've already technically had one of these. It's not going to be my first impressions. Uh, but this is weeks after for the reshoot, and I gave this one a pretty high score on the first time. But let's give it another shot, and uh, hopefully it has that consistent flavor. Yeah, it does. I was pretty high last time. I was 7 8. It's very juicy. I think there were like two that I was really curious about comparing to Honeycrisp because Honeycrisp was also in this area and I don't know when the Honeycrisp review will go up because I, I did an individual Honeycrisp review and now I'm thinking about doing it with some other stuff but let's go back to the Jazz Apple. Good crisp. Good crisp throughout. When it's an apple I want to see how many chews can I have and it still has good flavor. And this one carries its flavor pretty consistently. It's very good. Um, so I like where I scored it before. 7, 8. Um, yeah. 7, 8. That's the review. The Jazz Apple will definitely be in the tournament at the end of the year, and then we'll put it head-to-head -head with some other apples and see if it still holds up. But if you get a chance to Jazz Apple, they're kind of small. They're very cute. I don't think they're very expensive. At least I don't remember them being very expensive. So it's definitely an apple worth picking up and giving a shot. 